Oh boy. All right, let's fucking get the show on the road. Oh, God. oh, I already am level 30. Nice. that that is cool Oh, yes. Russians nearby. Do they say Russians? Incoming backup request. What's up, by the way? Uh, I think so. I think I planned on doing uh, Dark Souls next week. I just got to double check my calendar here. Yes, that is correct. Although I will not be done playing this game, uh, I probably won't be streaming anymore. Um, while Twain's on vacation, I might uh, do an extra one of this, but we'll see. We will see. I'll probably do an extra one of Dark Souls, but yeah. Wow, these ammo boxes are not working today. For some strange reason. Where the fuck? Oh, yeah, I remember. It's on top of the thing here. If you didn't pay any attention to the gameplay, why are you in here? Besides my, uh, 
uh, sexy voice, but whatever. Check some more equipment here. Um, I don't recall when Twain said he was on vacation. Um, I'll have to check back again, but, uh, um, I think it's during next week, so yeah, maybe I'll do some more. I'll post in Discord about it if, uh, if you're on the server. Fair enough. Supplies nearby. Where the hell is the uh, another one of these guys? All right, last spot. Actually, you know, I don't really know. Excuse me. Necessarily, one that campaign's going to be over. I think uh, I might need to do one more stream, but I'll probably skip it anyways. Just stick with Dark Souls. Seems like more of our fans would be enjoy that anyways. Double-barreled sawed off. Tonto, what have you got? It's fast. Outcaster plant. Henry's received confirmation of an impending outcast attack. You don't use Discord because you're just not interested or something else? Go there and ensure their safety. Wrong way. Can I even get over here? Nope. Supplies detected. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I didn't initially take to it very well just because there's like, I don't know, another thing to use, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's cool. It's not bad. Um, I tend to avoid most other forms of social media, and that one is uh, relevant to our channel, so try to hang around. took me a very roundabout way yet again. Guess we'll have to go around. Oh no, am I going the right way? Yeah, alright. Why's it got me going all the way back there? Outcasts have breached the historic district. It's chaos in there. Without agents, neutralize any hostile. If we're lucky, there might still be survivors. Shit. Let's see what we got. That's weird. Twitter! <laughs> yeah, if you're worried about hacking and bullying, well, maybe just bullying, um, then best best just avoid Twitter. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's, I don't know, I don't like Twitter personally. I had one for a while, got rid of it. Detected. 
I mean, it, it probably has its place, but to me it was just, uh, most of it seemed like, uh, self-important, ah, self-important people talking about stupid stuff. Whoa! Gotcha, gotcha. Can't go through there. That's leaving the missionary anyways. Mad Max, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? I see. That's not necessarily a bad idea. Um, I tried to keep mine kind of like that, like kind of like a news feed, but I uh, ended up getting polluted by a lot of BS anyways, no matter how hard I tried. So I just, I just got rid of it. Oh, new hat. Probably will never wear it. There we are. Outcasts are storming the eastern perimeter. Never want to express opinions to the public. Ongoing problems with saying whatnot. Well, at least on media platforms. Yeah, I hear you there. I don't uh, feel like if it matters, if my opinion matters, somebody will probably want to talk to me about it. I see him. Maybe that's uh, a bleak outlook, but. Ouch. Ah, uh, there's that fucker. Haha. You die now, I can see it. Immediate medical assistance needed. Ah, oh, you bitch. That was my fault. Agent I wasn't paying attention. Zero. Try this again. In one second, I'm coming in.
Um, I don't think this is the final mission, actually. Uh, I apparently have to um, assault some strongholds. Um, I just briefly mentioned earlier that uh, um, I don't think this would be the final mission, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, or the f final stream. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is, this is my first time through, anyways, so... Uh, I don't know exactly what, uh, I just know that, uh, now they opened up, uh, I can assault, uh, the big strongholds. I don't know which fucking way am I supposed to go. Secure the rooftop. Well, I must be going up here. I mean, I remember people used to bitch about the navigation in the first division, but in this one, it is quite worse. I can see smoke rising from the south wing. Get over there, agent. Hey, <laughs> is that you? One of those Yeah, I don't know if it's, uh, it's supposed to be, like, you know, a direct correlation. Like, this is, this is literally how many people are in the, it's just supposed to be a challenge. But, uh, yeah, it is kind of funny if you think about it, like, oh, I've killed thousands of people, and <laughs> somehow or another, at some point in time, they all got recruited into these enemy factions. That actually reminds me, I remember one time on uh, Reddit, people were having a discussion about, um, um, oh geez, what was it, um, legendary difficulty missions in the first division, and uh, somebody had to mention that they weren't canon, clearly, you know, because um, like, you'd find one faction in a mission that they normally wouldn't be in, so it's like, I feel like you shouldn't have to explain that kind of thing, so like, I don't know, super high difficulty tiers and repeating shit over and over again, like, that's not all, that's, none of that's canon, so I, I feel like the amount of enemies you encounter over and over again is just supposed to be to present a challenge and not supposed to be like, there's this many people in the city and part of this faction, so, yeah. Yeah, it seems like usually uh, I do end up uh, during the day in this game. I mean, when I've played on my own, I've definitely gotten um, uh, inclement weather, like fog and rain, and um, been nighttime too. But yeah, typically it seems like it's uh, during the day. Well, that was uneventful. Oh, well, these guys are a little harder to kill.
Well, not that uh, The Last of Us is necessarily hyper realistic, but um, I don't think this game is certainly not intended to be hyper realistic. Um, and I mean, in these kind of games where you're, um, you know, you're an elite agent handling shit on your own, or at least in small teams against, you know, tons of guys, then, you know, I don't think it's supposed to be taken literally. This is, you know, oh shit. Yeah, I mean, as you progress through levels, you're just supposed to get waves, you know, stuff like that, so. Hostiles are gathering in the courtyard. Let's try this one more time. Try a different weapon. Thompson, eh? Um, I suppose we can try this guy. Yeah. For Last of Us Part 2? No, I haven't seen any footage yet. I was not aware that they had any footage out yet. Well, that's cool. I should check it out. So I did enjoy that game. So... Secure the area. But where is everybody? Like this one bit because this seems to be like I might have glitched um, and that sucks because fuck start this. I don't even know if I can. <sighs> Let me try one thing. Let's see if I can figure out a way to trigger this shit. No, of course not. Ah, god, this is annoying. Fucking A. Ah, I'll have to try that other one. You'll be blown away with footage of the games now into the perspective of Ellie. Yes, that I did know. Um, and boy, has she learned how to play violent. <laughs> Joel's a good teacher, I suppose. Detected. 
Outcasts have been seen emptying blood bags into crates inside the relief camp by the Potomac River. Find out what they're planning and put a stop to it. All right, let's try this one. Uh, Big Bang is in the Big Bang Theory, like the show. The um, friendly control point detected. Alleged comedy show. <laughs> These guys. Ah, might as well participate. No, I uh, I did not see it. I'm not a fan of that show. Big Bang Boom Theory. Yeah. You're the best. <laughs> What's up, Twin? Oh, the door is on this side. I think that show was too long. Oh! But I'm bummed. I'm here all week. No, I think he's going on vacation, like, not, like, later, like, this next week or something. Outcasts have been spotted inside a nearby relief camp, emptying blood bags into crates. Whatever messed up shit they're planning, you need to stop it. Portable electronic device detected. Heads up, Agent. Outcasts are roaming the grounds. All right. Twelve days and counting. Morning. Contagion detected. According to Isaac's analysis, the crates are laced with contaminated blood. Could be green poison. Well, I, I, I said paralyzed. that because I thought he was going on vacation earlier than that. But no, while he's gone, I'll be doing it. Whoa. Can't see shit. Damn, dude's got an arm. Let's try over here. Oh shit, oh, they're lying to fire. Great! Get up over the wall!
that was out of way. <laughs> yeah, we haven't played in a while. Unfortunately, that's how the cookie crumbles every now and then, unfortunately. Um, we'll get back in the swing things, though. As you know... Time to bust out the big guns. Catch up on this shit. Uh, Master mode on three hearts? That sounds hard. Yeah, no, we don't want to deal with backseat gaming. Oh no, we don't want level 28 blues. That is not better. Well, damage to is nice. Health critical chance health. Okay. Yeah, we'll rock that. Oh god, I'm glad I've never played Unfair Mario. At least if uh, you're talking about what I'm Warning. thinking of. Contagion detected. Ooh, Contagion over here. Through the gate. Let's get some ammo. Bitch.
<laughs> Donald sounds like one angry motherfucker. Oh, of course I placed my uh, turret right on the uh, thing I need to put thermite on. And of course somehow it doesn't even kill it. That's hilarious. This guy, there he is. Shouldn't have stood by that propane. What help if I could hit what I'm aiming at? Rage mode. So if he was a DD character, he would be a barbarian. But I'm bummed. I'll be here all week. Right into it. Right into it. Yeah, good fucking plan. Fuck is the Archduke? Got him. Got him. The last thing we need right now is another epidemic. Uh, barbarians are um, glass cannons essentially, and they have a rage mechanic where they uh, get uh, ability score bonuses when they go into rage mode. And that's kind of their key feature.
All right, did I get anything useful? Ooh. Darkwing Duck. Oh, jeez. A couple episodes here and there when I was younger. That's about it. Yep, didn't think I was going to wear that hat. But it's worth looking. Try the other mission again. Hopefully, it doesn't glitch this time. Original voice actor, huh? That's pretty cool. It's always nice when the original Pop actors return. Confirmation of an impending outcast attack on the historic district community. Go there and ensure their safety. Five actors from the original. Well, that's cool. I am going to mute the mic for just a second. I will be right back. Neutralize any hostiles. If we're lucky, there might still be survivors.
distracted. Could be survivors. Take a look. Tell me, Awesome Possum, have you ever seen Fight Club? Because <laughs> Robert Paulson reminds me of that. <laughs> His name was Robert Paulson. Let's get in here. Yes, we are here to help. Okay, cool. Yeah, you should watch it. It's good. That's like a quintessential, like, edgy movie, so everybody should watch it. Get over there, agent. Get that bastard. Nice. Ludwig von Drake. Twain knows a lot about voice actors too, although more so for uh, anime and other stuff. Hang on one second. Back. Sorry about that. Tony Anselmo. Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, I'm thinking of. Uh, lead singer of, uh, is it Pantera? I don't remember his first, Phil, Phil Anselmo, yeah. Probably not related. Hostiles are gathering in the courtyard. 
full disclaimer, I'm not really a fan of uh, Pantera. Not that I have anything against them, but I'm just not a fan. God damn it. Damn, she was fucking strapped, dude. She had a fucking shotty. Yes! Got him. Team to escort the survivors back to the campus. They should arrive shortly. You did good out there, Agent. Hmm. So it sounds like Donald was always a fan favorite. Uh, give me one second. I need to assist my fiance or something. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back after some light calisthenics. Oh, I don't think there's anything for me to pick up over here. Oh, yes, there is. Ooh, and there's one over here, too. Although, really, purples are probably useless to me. At this point, since I am... Some shit. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'll just hang on to that one for a little bit. This one actually might be pretty good, and then I'll give extra damage on the rifle. Yeah, we can get rid of this one. Yeah, we want that. Finally catch a KOA stream. Jesus, study group ended early and now to enjoy Daddy KOA. What's up, Talvez? How many more weeks? Have you, yeah, how many more weeks of school do you get? You fucking school motherfucker. Let's check out this control point. Time to get some more beverages. Ow! Try not to hit your knee on the table when you're walking. indeed or is that just flat out the universal symbol for nothing <laughs> oh yes that is uh, definitely beverages of the adult variety yes we do need to do another drunk terraria soon those are always fun um, a refrigerator for aunt dog to steal the freon from Terraria, have you never played Terraria? Yes, Dark Souls, starting next week. Man, I was going to buy a digital copy of it, um, but uh, I was holding out because I wanted to see if I could find a uh, cheaper used version at uh, our local second-hand game store, but they did not have anything, so 
when I went to go buy the digital copy, it went back up to full price, so I am absolutely not buying that shit. So I'm just going to have to get it off of Amazon, which is still a good price. The game terrier was streamed to take a shot of booze. Huh? Oh, yeah, we died a lot. Let's see what this point of interest is. Well, did I not get anything useful? Guess not. Oh, it's foggy. I have to do this. I hear you don't have to use that weapon. Toolbox. to talk to Autumn about some Pathfinder stuff before we meet again. The G. Phillips Protocol. Go detected. What do you want me to estimate? Oh, how many times we died? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I died several times, at least fucking, like, 12 times. Wow, that's... I drank a lot more than that that night. <laughs> but yes, I probably took 12 shots that night. Friendly control point nearby. Yeah, I think uh, both times Twain and I got uh, pretty drunk. Um, so yeah, I think from now on probably uh, just a casual drinking. You know, just get... Uh, your choice of booze and sip it throughout the night. I mean, we could just keep keep to the regular format too. That's also an option. Ooh, the sea tower. I like that one. Oh, of course. Oh, it's always a party, bro. Always a party. Ah, it's a purple though. Tisk. No, that's really that big of a deal, but... Mm. Mm, excuse me. Nice, not bad. I still like that one better. Yeah, 
hell we'll do that one. Oh, nice. Health regen. We'll take that. I'm not going to necessarily get rid of all the golds just yet. <clears throat> uh, I can only imagine it being easier to die every shot. Yeah, that's probably true. Which many of the combination will assume is for sure. Uh, ah, yeah, I was just watching a little bit of the uh, Retro Spectacus video that you put up toy in that was uh, hilarious as per usual. But I did not finish it, so I'll have to watch more. Where is this echo? Oh, it's upstairs. Hmm. Terraria is a game that you are supposed to that uh, resembles that you are in a terrarium. I would imagine. <gasps> Friendly control point nearby. It's like a side-scrolling kind of building exploration game with a little bit of combat. Like 2D Minecraft, but a little more complex. I, I would actually, I would imagine a decent amount more complex. I've never played Minecraft like that though, so couldn't say for sure. Solar calculator. Detected. The control point in proximity. And let me tell you, I was tense as fuck. No idea if this guy was going to go keener on my ass or what. Everyone's an enemy until proven a friend. So, he just comes up and drops his gun on the ground. He motions for us to take it. Then he starts dancing. Right there in the middle of the street, like a fucking lunatic. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen this guy. Dressed like a goddamn clown. No idea how he made it past the psyche, though. Just as I was about to stash the rifle, I'd catch the glint of glass in the distance. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Pull out my showstopper and drop the clown while Jesse up there took out their sniper. And that's why Liz calls agents like that bait. Hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some combat. But, uh, I mean, you can die from, like, falling damage, too, so. Oh, so they were division agents. Friendly control point like, first couple games I ever played in my life? Or on the channel? Um, when I was a young lad and I was better at certain types of games I really really enjoyed Mega Man X never got that much into the rest of the series but nonetheless um, I liked all three Super Star Wars games on Super Nintendo um, 
although all three movies were packaged into one cartridge, I did enjoy the uh, Indiana Jones game on Super Nintendo. Um, I guess when I really started getting into video games, we'll fast forward a bit to... Um, well, no. Let's not skip over Super Nintendo just yet. Link to the Past. Um, although I've never been... I've been a huge fan of a few of few Zelda games. Hyper Tales, what's up, buddy? How you doing? You're gonna go to school? Jeez, you must be uh, quite uh, a ways away from us across the world. Um. Well, in any case, I hope you have a good day. Um. Yeah, this is Legend of Zelda: uh, Link to the Past on Super Nintendo was definitely a good one. I never got that much into the older ones. Um, or much else past Ocarina of Time, which is also one that I really liked. Um, take care, man. Thanks for coming in. Um, detected from the control point yeah, in PlayStation. Uh, when I got a PlayStation, that was kind of when I really got into games, I guess. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Um... One, two, three, four, and five. Mainly one, two, and three, and four. But, um... Uh, what else? Final Fantasy seven, eight, ten, um, six. although I've never finished six. Although, I've really only gotten halfway through. Not even halfway through. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at finishing some games. For some reason, circumstances just make it difficult for me to continue playing games sometimes, but, uh... Anyways, um, yeah, Mass Effect. When I when I discovered Mass Effect, I didn't discover it actually. Uh, Autumn introduced me to it. That was a life. That was a game changer. That was a life changer for sure. That was a real good one. Fucking loved Mass Effect. Friendly control point detected. Ratchet and Clank. I remember the first Ratchet and Clank game I played on PlayStation Two was. Pretty good, although never ended up getting into it. Um, just ended up having other shit to play. I played the first Uncharted. That one was pretty good, but uh, just uh, haven't gotten around to playing any of the sequels. Wait a minute. Jesus, I ran all the way over there for nothing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Have I ever taken the Devil's Lettuce? I have before, although not in quite some time. Um, many years. Many years. Used to really dislike it for some reason. Um, but uh, now, don't really care. Um, to each their own. Um, I'd love to try it again sometime, though. First was the lowest rated, huh? Oh, Jesus, I keep never getting back to that point. Georgetown. Before anyone knew the harmful effects of DC-62, the residents of this area agreed to have their entire community fumigated with it, only to realize later that they'd sealed their own fate. We now call this Ghost Town, Dark Zone West. Supply convoy detected. Oh, okay, those are just friendlies. Drinking water detected. I was familiar with the Zelda series when I was young, but I didn't get just, just 
started getting attached to the story until 10 years since I did. didn't realize it was actually a time with those games. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I remember seeing like a uh, like a timeline infographic somewhere online and I was like, huh, so that explains it. Um, but yeah, that, that, was, that was an interesting one. The residents one. of Georgetown had already constructed a wall around the community when the DC-62 started to kill them. Map EZ West and extract what you can. I've arranged a supply drop of C4 so you can breach the main gate. Supply drop detected. Rito's, Rito's, um, uh, ba 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 ba, pr pr Princess Rudo? Is that what you like? Uh, was the Zor Zoras? Or am I thinking of something else? So, supply drops not up here. Oh, there it is. from when we were that's right yep that was loud hopefully it didn't attract too much attention yeah I remember when we played Wind Waker that was the one bird dude it was pretty cool I always liked the Kokiri I thought they were cool and basically elves I guess you could say access denied initiating override Looks like it might take a while. Excuse me. Hostiles detected. The explosion must have drawn their attention. Now that the main gate is gone, they'll try to take advantage of that. Oh, nice. Override complete. Move in and gather a map of the site. Area scan location identified. Oh, I suppose, uh, Soonish will uh, meet this Cass in our playthrough. Entering dog zone. Initiate area scan.
Supply from Echo detected. Collect the supplies and head to the Echo location. Which is this way. Hmm. Hmm. That's better. That's what you think. That's bullshit, and you know it. You're willing to risk the lives of everyone in Georgetown. DC-62? No one knows what that shit is or what it will do. Uh, cartoon character? Does the anime count or no? Because I never really got into other cartoons. Alright, because I know some people categorize them differently. Um, well, that's a tough one, but um, I mean, I guess. Let's see. Shay didn't stand a chance. They were always going to use the DC 62. She in ended up the DC South Camp because she was banished from Georgetown. It wasn't because she was sick, it was because. She was a problem. Hmm. Contaminated gear detected. Well, that's heavy. Where is the gear? There it is. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I guess. Um. Ah. Jeez. In one of the earliest animes I got into was. Dragon Ball Z, so I liked Piccolo. Piccolo was always super cool. I liked Vegeta, because he was kind of the underdog compared to Goku. Um, now detecting contempt. We'll need a complete but yeah, Piccolo and Vegeta. Um, Cowboy Bebop was another favorite of mine. Um, seems like kind of a cop-out, but I always liked Spike. Um... And Faye. Um, well, I really I like that whole cast, but yeah, Spike was always just so smooth, you know. But um, Gundam Wing, Gundam Wing was a big one for me. Who the hell did I like in there? I liked uh, Zex Marquis. Um, despite him being kind of like a like a edgy loner. Um, the main character, uh, Hero Yui, was always cool. Um, yeah. Um, 
Neon Genesis Evangelion was also a favorite of mine. Um, Go to the extraction point and signal a helo for your contaminated gear. Um, I liked Misato because she seemed to be the most realistic, and she's also Bay. Um, it's gotta, be, yeah. Well, you know, to be honest, I really just can't pick just one um, for a, a, you know, an, a, the cartoon character. I just, um, you know, it. Some people, some for some people, it's easy to pick like a favorite song. Like I can can't pick a favorite song. It depends on, you know, the the time of day, my mood, the the week, the month I'm having, you know, the particular situation. So it's it's really hard to pick just one. I guess um, I'll have to get back to you. I'll have to think real hard on it. Um, video game characters would be a better one for me personally. Jesus. No, really, I guess I'll just have to get back to you on that. I'll have to try to think about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, video game characters, that'd probably be easier for me to pick. But that'll still be difficult. Nathan Drake and Ratchet, eh? Okay. Um, mm, let me see if I can narrow it down right now. Probably not, but we'll give it a try. Um, Solid Snake's a bit too much of a cop-out, but, uh, you know, the ever-persevering underdog. Um, maybe he's not necessarily an underdog, but, I mean, at least... Uh, Liquid was supposedly the superior clone. So, that, uh, I guess you could call him an underdog, technically. Damn, this guy got fucked up. What Victor Tran did was inexcusable. Whatever happened to him, I hope he got what he deserved. Um. Smell your salad. Who? I mean, there's so many interesting characters in that game. Get to the nearest um, shade terminal and upload the map for DZ West to the network. Incoming backup request. Hmm. Uh, Garrus Vicarian in Mass Effect. I always liked him quite a bit. Um, guess you could say he's your quintessential chaotic good. You know, damn the rules, I know what's right kind of thing. Um, I always really liked him. Oh, what the fuck else? The 
map for DZ West is now up on the Shade Network and available to all agents. Great work. Listen, I want to apologize. It was my job to help facilitate access to the DZ. Oh, you know who's a you know who's an MVP that I just remembered. <laughs> Fucking Apple now Kid from Earthbound. That guy. I just have more questions. Nobody would have suspected that the stinky, the stinky that. nerd was uh, was the real OG, but uh, he was the real OG. I don't know. Have you ever played Earthbound? Oh, uh, I didn't see that last one. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. Snake's one of the characters who started it for all third-person shoes. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was finished with. Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, um, I was, or I wasn't even done yet, and I was just, like, kind of depressed a little bit. I was just like, man, like, that's, you know, the fall of a hero for me, oh, you know? Seems like a bad idea for all those assholes to be in one place. I tried telling them that. The argument is... Just elite true sons. <sighs> Where the fuck are true sons gonna be? Here. Let's try that. Yeah, I mean, it was like, you know, the fall of a hero. I mean, it's really the best way to put it. Um, you know, come to think of it, actually, B Big Boss is really one of the more interesting characters. Um, the Boss also was a very interesting character. Um, Revolver Ocelot was an incredibly interesting character. I mean, he doubled and tripled crossed everybody. Yeah, bro, you gotta play. You know what? That's definitely something that I'm gonna need to play on the stream here is Earthbound. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I didn't play, I think it was, what, Mother Mother 3? Which is what who had Lucas in it, but yeah. Um, Earthbound was supposed to be Mother 2. Oh, shit. I'm getting a bunch of static. That means there must be a uh, hunter nearby. This should be fucking interesting. Friendly supply on foot in proximity. And hey, here's your nighttime, by the way. And of course, now the status gone, so maybe there wasn't a hunter nearby. Detected from the control point in proximity. Well, the only reason I defend how dark it is right now is because this is supposed to be summertime in a warmer climate. Um, and with... Whoa! Really all the infrastructure being kind of shut down. Um, there's no power anywhere so or at least not much of any power well oh here are all the lights right here <laughs> you get what i mean um it's not as much power as it normally would be um so not everything is lit up like it normally would be i would imagine so less light pollution but yeah also middle of the summer warmer climate so i think naturally night times lighter but i'm not a weather expert So you can guess my favorite cartoon character is by now. Scrooge McDuck. Yes, there is a lot of emergency rights around. Yes. Oh, 
Well, I thought I was gonna get some. Elite True Sun's down here, but I guess not. Well, shit, man, I don't know. With how long you've spent talking about Scrooge, I would have figured he was definitely your favorite, but... I stand corrected. I mean, I could start just nonsensically naming characters off until I hit it, but that's going to take all night. Could not, but probably will take all night, so why don't you just tell me? <laughs> Let's see, I hit those. Let's actually hit these. You know, as long as it's not fucking Gladstone, because the world's luckiest duck, then, uh... Yeah, good lord, if it's Gladstone, then that's... That's no thanks. He's too OP. I mean, that's like playing Fallout with maximum luck. Get the yeah, I did from this one. Excuse me. No, man, if I had an idea, I would have said it already. Um, I guess my next guess is Donald Duck. That seems like a cop out, too, so. Perfect. Totally agree. Oh, Donald Duck. And you had to throw his middle name in there, too, didn't you? Fauntleroy. Leroy. Where the fuck is the gear room? Not nearby, apparently. Somebody's fucking with me. Isn't that what I said, Fauntleroy? No? Well, I didn't say it as fast, but... Jeez, you didn't have to correct me so harshly. Christ. It's not like Fauntleroy is a uh, common uh, name. 
Oh, I said it like Fauntleroy. My apologies. Didn't mean to uh, besmirch his name. Fair enough, fair enough. Makes sense. I suppose you know a lot about characters that uh, you don't like. Or rather, aren't your favorite, to be a little more specific. Oh, well, guess I can't uh, claim to love any characters then because don't know everything about them. All these some of those bizarre bad luck situations that make it feel so real. Huh. Friendly supply convoy. Detected. Excuse me.
I'm just gonna keep fishing for this free gear. some of the oldest cartoons I've ever watched my uh, grandpa was a big fan of Bugs Bunny we watched some of those together when I was a kid oh my god that shit was a fucking riot to me dude I remember this one <laughs> this motherfucker was in an airplane as like a like a World War 2 bomber or something like that and it was it was just fucking hilarious at the time Dog, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Ducks indeed, motherfucker. Streaming the Duck Vision 2. You ready for Dark Souls next week, buddy? Hope you don't mind me calling you buddy, it's a bad habit from work. <laughs> Duck Souls, that's right. Yeah, I'm just going to have to have a lot of patience with that game. Um, I do plan on, once I get it, um, playing it just a little bit, like maybe an hour or two, maybe not even, um, prior to drop detected. Just, uh, just to, you know, get a little familiar with the control set, you know, when I start the stream for you guys, I'm not like just a complete fucking imbecile. <laughs> Unless you'd rather it be that way. In which case, no problem. For Dark Souls? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll definitely create a new character for the stream. Yeah, likely what I'll do is just like play it for an hour to get like used to the controls and then delete that character and sh start fresh. Nice, dude. I I love a good gear, character creator. Dude, like, I spent fucking way too long creating myself in Mass Effect. Oh my god, that shit was hilarious. Detecting additional hostile contacts. I remember at least once, maybe so twice, I restarted the game because I didn't like how my character turned out. <laughs> so, there's always that. You know, I've never played Soul Calibur. I've always meant to, but never did, never got around to it. That's a fighting game, right? Or would you call it something else? Ooh, uh, goodness, excuse me. Ah, it is a fighting game. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Yeah, the only fighting game I really got into is there was a brief period of time I was uh, into uh, Tekken. But uh, other than that, it was Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore because uh, that was what I had. And Excuse me, my friends and I played the shit out of that game. It was funny. Fun. Twain and Tone, actually, uh, the three of us used to beef every now and then. It was mainly uh, um, me and tone uh, another friend of ours that uh, is no longer a friend of ours
Download posters. <laughs> Uh, studying the comics down, but a whole new world for me to check out. From eventually, I got obsessed with practically all of his family by that point. Bounty failed. Well, I wasn't really going for it, anyways. All the stories about Scrooge, Scrooge, Scrooge originated started with him. Okay, fair enough. No, not really. You don't have any down posters. Actually, I I am curious. Do you have Do you have any duck merch? Hang on a second. Let me. Seeing a notification for a poor connection to host server. Let me. There we go. Lower that down a little bit. I don't know if it's going to fix anything, but it doesn't seem to be causing any hiccups. Things would be much worse without you. So. I don't really collect, and really, I guess neither does my fiance. But um, uh, we both have a few. I have a few. She has several pop figures between us. Um, do you or would you have any? Get any pop figures? Too damn hot for this shit. I wish I had a couple. Got a Donald Duck hat. Nice, nice. You know what? I don't know if they do have minions. Mirror's Eating Game Store, but none of them have any of the characters I'm into, including Donald. Huh. Yeah, I'll bet you uh, Disney wants nothing to do with Pop or Funko Pop, whatever. Which is unfortunate for folks like you, but it is what it is. Man, imagine. Imagine if they licensed that shit to them. The money they could probably make from that shit. You'd have all the Disney movies like fucking Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. Oh, that would be a fucking gold mine, in my opinion. But. So, dog, is, uh. Excuse me, are you to Minions as Awesome Possum is to Disney Ducks? Oh my god, are you talking about the new one that they're making Tricky with one. the fucking Tricky. him playing the genie? <laughs> Wait, that didn't come out yet, did it? Who the fuck is Kevin? I didn't know they had names.
Oh, I see. I see. They allow them, but they don't uh, stack them near you. Fair enough. Oh, Kevin is the tall minion. Okay. I thought they were all the same height. Shows you how much I know. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, there is a tall one. Oh, let me guess, is that the Minions movie plot? to watch it one of these days. Seen all this people news for the third one. Heard it didn't look, didn't do very well, so I assume I wasn't seeing it. New Aladdin looks great. Sad in what way, Twain? Oh, saw a new Aladdin trailer. It made me sad. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see you, Twain. Thanks for coming back. Uh, Will Smith is gonna be an amazing genie. I mean, Will Smith is like pretty, pretty much good at anything he does, but I don't know, genie man. We'll see. Sad and that's going to be terrible and not even enjoyable way. Like Sonny will be on the Phil Smith. <laughs> he should have a genie. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. Fucking genie. Ooh. Clearly, yeah, that's level 28, though. We don't want that shit. Dare I, dare I say it? I think maybe Eddie Murphy would have been better as the genie, but don't, don't, don't hold me to that. Yeah, Robin Williams is great. Agent. How's everything going, Agent? <laughs> so, you're really pushing the live actually. <laughs> 
Here in Mulan, live action is coming out next year. To be honest, you might be right. Eddie Murphy may have been able to pull it off. Well, thank you. I just, I just, I don't know. His, his, like, louder, more like, not flamboyant, but you know what I mean. Kind of like, out there. Seemed to fit, uh, fit a, fit a genie better, maybe. I don't know. But, not, that's not to say that, uh, um, what's his noodle? Brain fart here. Will Smith is not capable of that kind of performance, but. CGI Garfield. Didn't they already do that? Chicken fears. Well, not live action. We can actually be kind of tight. Yeah, that's right. He did do Mushu. Yep. Ooh, maybe they'll cast him for uh, Mushu in uh, the live action uh, Mulan. Not that you can really live action a fucking tiny dragon. But you can at least cast him as a voice actor. I do for you. That filled my inventory. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Items in my mailbox. Agent in need of backup. No, I didn't know. Excuse me, they didn't need Garfield uh, movies. Well, I no, don't Jesus. Yes, Garfield movie. Um, I don't know. Is Taylor Two Kitties? Is that a sequel or something? It is a sequel. Okay, got it. Bill Murray was the voice of Garfield in live action. <laughs> Jesus. Eleven percent is like really bad, right? Yes. Fucking chicken fears. Such a default kids meal. Can't go wrong with it. Shit. It's fine as an adult meal too. What do you want, Ziggy? My cat's staring at me. You're so freaking cute. Oh, look at you. Do you know what I mean for real though? Like, I mean, chicken strips, that's the adult version of chicken fingers, are delicious. I mean, I don't really think that there's any argument against that. I'll be done running around picking up weapons shortly. Let me see if I can get some coherent uh Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, we like that. We do like tonal armor though. Hmm. 
already got one of those. Well, Okay, that's all right. A little better. Sorry about that. Bad news, you see what I mean? This means would be ducks at a fight. Ooh, they might. I should have tried Discord. Coming around for the chicken fingers moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sir bots would be minions, thus really overall. Yeah, Sir bots probably would. No disrespect to the minions. Last time I called the us, minions would beat all. Minions never fought the ducks. If one, they'd beat them by sheer numbers. They also have tons of weapons that Dr. Nefario has made. Absolutely unbeatable, honestly. Nah, there was that car chase scene in DM2. One scene. Oh, hi. My cat just put her paw on my leg. That was her saying hello. Alright, I gotta do something wacky. So... Oh, it's beyond 11, like I normally stop, so I'll keep going for a little while. Since this is probably uh, the Division's last hurrah, at least as far as I'm streaming, so... Let's grab a few more weapons. Or items, rather. I mean, Dave, Jerry, and Kevin. I mean, you can't argue with those kind of names, you know. They're real. They're raw. They're legit. Sad stuff, families. A hell of a lot more fearless than the minions, no doubt about it. If they ever wrangled up with a young Scrooge McD. McDuck, he would be standing on a mountain of beat-up minions. Oh. See, I don't like overpowered characters like that. Like, maybe I don't understand the context, but for example, like, I mean, because I haven't seen any of them, but Thanos. Thanos seems way fucking overpowered to me, which is why the Avengers series kind of irks me a little bit, but again, haven't seen it, so don't, don't take that with anything other than a grain of salt. As an example, I, I hate super overpowered characters. I am going to be right back. I gotta use the head.
Okay, sorry guys, I'm back now. Let's catch up with some of these. Um, <clears throat> you actually couldn't compare a duck to Dave with a f fart gun. You couldn't either with a friction ray or lasers or minefields or swords or cannons or blast guns or granadas. Kevin alone has a power level of. 862,627. That's pretty high. Or spikes, or rockets, or the duck family themselves. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Here's the thing. They're both separate universes, so really comparing them at all is kind of fucking horse shit, so let's not compare them. That's probably the best course of action. I don't like how it's not notifying me of new items anymore. That's kind of garbage. Yeah, we're not going to use that. This is really the most tedious part of uh, Luna Shooters. But it's not too bad once you uh, know what you're looking for. Here. We didn't see a word I just posted. I mean, he was here the whole time. I think he I think he saw it. Maybe. Uh... Glad to see there's still some law in this town. Ooh, this is a true son's. Okay, why not? Let's assault this one. So wait, all this stuff you listed, is this shit that the uh <clears throat> that uh the duck family has access to? And what the hell is an interior interior ray? Anti interior ray rather. You know what? 
need to sell some of this gear. No, not necessarily, but I mean, most filthy rich people don't uh, necessarily um, arm themselves with uh, ridiculous firepower to defend their own money bins. Uh, well, really, they don't have money bins either, but you know what I mean. They, uh, you know, rely on kind of laws and et cetera, et cetera. Other safeguards, passive safeguards, etc. Always nice to see an agent around here. It's a pleasure dealing with you in bulk. Nice doing business with you. Mm hmm. Yeah, actually, might be a good piece, but we'll. Yeah, we'll hang on that one for a bit. Something specific? Thanks for boosting my inventory. Thanks for the business. No one except Scrooge McDuck. The city allows it because he practically owns 99% of it, so you can't deny it by that point. And yes, he also has around 20 security guards around the bin. 20 security guards are easily dispatched. I mean, with that much money at stake, you could probably hire. 40 people, which, based off of numbers alone, would probably easily dispatch the issue. Um, Think you can help? Hell, add even more people. And, uh, you're probably talking at a higher success rate, despite the uh, better firepower. Oh, yeah, we gotta look at, uh, weapons. I'll never use that. Never use that. Never use that. Friendly supply convoy detected. All this stuff is welcome. I appreciate your business. Alright, let's... Jump back over to this stronghold. Let's see what we can't do.
the Beagle Boys, Flintheart, Glomgold, or Magical Despell. Well, with that kind of money at stake, I imagine a heist would be well worth it. Yeah, you only you only live once, man. I can always get some caffeine tomorrow morning. Let's get out of here. He he's gonna kill me. Friendly control point nearby. Um, yeah, we're about to assault the Capitol building. You see that bitch in the distance there? Oh yeah, we finna take that. In proximity. Well, this is a lot later for me than I'm used to normally. I kind of wish she has more booze, but that's fine. I'll probably play like shit if I had more booze. Yeah, definitely I normally cut it off like right at 11, so. Very nice, very nice. About the banking out. Um, not sure if I could be around too much longer since I gotta get up early tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> I gotta get up early tomorrow, but that doesn't stop me. <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna get in here? Did you start selling merch? Accept donations and get a Patreon. Beautiful, beautiful. That's very good. Which means we can start. Uh, not sure if everyone gets checking and business debit cards, but I'll let you know. No, oh, that'd be tight if uh, <laughs> that was the case. But uh, yeah, I would. I wouldn't really. Would never use it, but that'd be cool. We just drink caffeine in the morning. I'm a little young for that, so I'm always drowsy. Well, <sighs> well, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Because unless you're like. I don't know. I really don't know what to consider an age limit for caffeine consumption. I think I started drinking coffee, well, back then reluctantly until later high school. Yeah, right? Imagine we're pitch <laughs> yeah, that'd be Under twenty. Well that's a huge window because anywhere between, in my opinion, uh We'll say 13 and 20 is perfectly fine to drink caffeine. Or consume caffeine. But that's just my opinion. Some people might have a different window. So how the fuck am I supposed to start this stronghold shit? Maybe not, I guess we'll... Hey, Lynn, this is Tucker. We're still waiting on a delivery of HE mortar rounds. Any idea what the holdup is? Uh, fucking hyena ambush. We lost the whole shipment. Holy shit. We should be able to get you sorted out soon, but it might take a couple days. Agent, 
It looks like the Trusons have set up an armory in the National Bond Bank. We need you to secure the location and destroy... I just don't dream because I think I hear it could affect your health. Well, there's a lot of things that can affect your health, buddy. And uh, having a cup of coffee every now and then is not that big of a deal. Um, but no, that's fine. Um, by all means, no. If you don't need caffeine, don't don't drink it. You know, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, there's a lot of things that can affect your health health so Try doing this. This. Friendly control point nearby. Oh, I don't consume uh, caffeine that often. Um, as a matter of fact, I've. Um, especially recently, made a conscious effort to consume less caffeine. Um, no, I mean, there really, there's a lot of things out there that can affect your health. I mean, if you're pounding 600 milligrams of caffeine a day, yeah, that's a fucking problem. But, like, I mean, if, what is a cup of coffee, 150? That's a strong cup of coffee. So, you know, no, in the grand scheme of things, having a cup of coffee every now and then is not that big of a deal. No. No. I mean, we're talking about abusing caffeine versus just, like, having some of them every now and then. Not even every now and then. You can drink it, like, once or twice a week and you're probably fine. Uh, assignment location detected. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can negatively affect your health. Five cups in the span of 12 hours? Probably not much. I mean, you might probably be wired, especially if you're not used to drinking caffeine, but um, elevate your heart rate um, for that 12 hours. It would increase your metabolism, but that's a positive effect. Um, but yeah, no, you'd probably be wired, maybe a little jittery, especially considering you're not used to drinking caffeine. We have five cups of 12 hours, yeah. No, I've, I've, pro I've personally probably in some situations had more than that. In uh, a 12 hour period. Yes, I know who Tweak is in South Park. And don't use that as a real world example for coffee consumption, because he's a cartoon. Ah, oh, nice doggy. Yes, Tweak also has a hard time taking the pressure. Get out of the pressure! Ah! He's a cocaine addict, he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Shows you how much I follow South Park. Oh, I remember Tweak. Didn't I, didn't I say that? I don't remember he's a cocaine addict though, that's that much I forgot. 
if they made it apparent at some point. I didn't follow uh, South Park that well. Friendly combatants nearby. Tweet's father is the owner of a coffee shop. Yep, I knew that, but uh, were they not telling their customers that they're placing cocaine samples in their coffee to improve profits? Hilarious. Nope, nope, must have missed that episode. One or two cups of it per day. All right. Yeah, that would explain it, being a child. Yeah, makes sense. That's why he's tweaking all the time. I try to find the entrance to this fucking thing. Well, that's always been kind of South Park's thing, is to push the envelope, so, you know. Fair enough, I guess. So, I take it both of y'all are caught up on Game of Thrones? Well, how do you feel about this season? Not a character. What do you mean exactly? This is going to take forever. Well, that's cool. It's interesting. Oh, it's just that Daenerys has been saying in all series that she doesn't intend to be queen of the ashes like her dad, but she probably should have stuck to her own advice. I see a lot of people are saying that, but I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that, uh, well, actually, I don't think I am the only one that thinks that that's not really past her. I mean, for example, when she torched, um, fucking... Uh, Sam, Sam's dad and brother, I mean, that was aggressive, not saying necessarily that it was the wrong decision, but it was aggressive nonetheless, uh, it involved torching, um, she was probably angry about some things that has been happening, I mean, they did some, you know, for, mm, maybe foreshadowing is not the right word, but, uh, um, you know, inclinations uh, towards that behavior in the earlier episodes of season eight when she was 
Um, they made it apparent that she was feeling isolated and, you know, and John drops down her, hey, I'm the rightful heir. You know, I'm Aegon Targaryen, blah, blah, blah. She's all like, well, everything I've been fighting for all these years, you know, i am been doing this based on the fact that I'm the rightful heir and she's not all of a sudden, so just getting aggressive. I don't know. Here's what I do believe. It doesn't... If it wasn't for the decapitation of Miss Sunday, Daenerys probably wouldn't wouldn't have done what she did after all. Her last words were Dracarys. Yeah. No, you know, that's that's a good point because, um, I mean, well, I also think that Miss Sunday as a character was wasted this last season. I mean, how many lines did she have? Like, nothing. The fuck? You know? Like... Shit, even last season, like, what the fuck, you know? Like, Grey Worm also could have been utilized much better also as a character. But it is what it is. Um, oh, this is like... Ah, oh, jeez, I need matchmaking for this mission. Or do I? Yeah, I do need... <sighs> fuck. Hey, Liv, this is Tucker. We're still waiting on a delivery of HE Mortar Rounds. Oh, this is level 28 stronghold. This is 30. Seems like a bad idea for all those assholes to be in one place. We've got the hyenas spooked. Their entire council is gathered at the stronghold. You know what? It is getting pretty late. Maybe it's best I call it a night. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Yep, yep, it's it's sad to see sad to see her fall. Um I mean she was never really my favorite character, but uh um I mean she came so far and you know, in the end to fall. It sucks. It sucks man, I feel that, you know. But uh anyways. Thanks for joining us tonight. And until next time, class dismissed. <laughs>